Hello, dear friends. Uh, my name is Ilan Filimonova. I work as a partner and as a teacher in a language school, Expert English in Ufa. And uh, uh, at the same time, I work as an interpreter and as a translator and as an associate professor in the university. So actually, I've got a lot of jobs. But in this video, um, myself and my colleagues, we would like to uh, tell you a little bit about what we do in our school, in our studio, about the projects and uh, some interesting ideas that we realize that we carry out in our school. And I will speak about the projects related to translation and interpretation. Well, actually, we perform uh, all types of translation uh, that you can actually think of. Uh, we can do consecutive translation, simultaneous translation, literary translation, technical translation. Uh, we've once done poetry translation, which was quite a challenge. And, uh, well, whatever you think of. Yes, uh, three of my colleagues, uh, we we used to work and we are working as interpreters, as simultaneous interpreters and consecutive interpreters at conferences. Yeah, now to become a translator, it doesn't matter which one, you have to study from four to six years, depending on the type of the degree. If you choose the bachelor's degree, that's going to be four years. A specialist degree takes five years and uh, extra master's degree takes two years. So um, one colleague of mine has six year degree and uh, I, including my postgraduate study, have for, let me see, seven years. Yes, seven years. Oh, probably the biggest pride in my practice, that's uh, the translation uh, for uh, Bashneft. Uh, we did the translation of huge documents of about 1,000 pages each. We translated APIs, if uh, you are a specialist, you could know about that. Um, another achievement that I, I think I can tick in my box would be the translation of Urologist Congress, because it helped me to overcome my fear of blood and I was able to translate live streaming from surgeries, from operation theaters and uh, uh, that was quite a challenge. And another project that is also interesting that's live simultaneous translation in Zoom for online conferences which I had this year, that was also really interesting. Um, well, uh, if we speak about, well, it depends whether it's a translator or an interpreter. If you work as a translator, of course, you should have more of like diligence and hardworking things in your personal portfolio. But if you work as an interpreter, that's another range of uh, qualities. So as a translator, I would say that's diligence, accuracy, attention to details, and maybe, um, well, in, in, inquisitive mind because you need to do a lot of internet research when you work with the text to understand exactly the process and the reality that you're working with. An interpreter should have um, another set of qualities, I believe. That's the first one would be stress uh, resistance because that's the most stressful job I know, probably after being a doctor, a surgeon because it takes a lot of concentration and multitasking, so you've got to develop these qualities as well. And maybe, mm, I would say, quick reaction. Yes, that's also important. If you have these qualities inborn, that will, uh, you, you've got what it takes, actually. Well, if we speak about a translate, well, it depends on what kind of translation we're talking about. And um, I would say if you want to become a translator and not an interpreter, then it's much easier to develop these qualities. But if you want to become an interpreter, especially a simultaneous interpreter, well, for some people that's unachievable because of their disposition. Like by, by nature, they are a bit, you know, uh, more concentrated in details, 
um, I wouldn't say slow, but more con considering, considering things. And um, I believe for these people, it may be quite hard. So I would say uh, everybody can, but it may be a struggle. And who needs that? Um, we have developed a very interesting course, uh, which uh, actually comprises two parts. The first part is the online platform training, uh, which offers you certain challenges, texts, sentences, uh, which you are to translate at home in a convenient time for you. And then the system automatically compares your translation with the one made by a professional translator. But it's not only that, because um, when you take this course, you also get a mentor from our team, from our active interpreters and translators, and you meet once a week with a professional who shares knowledge, tips, uh, give comments on your translation made online, and just teaches you all the basic things, and maybe not only basic things. So, um, if you reveal really good talent, we can even share our workload with you with the students of our course and uh, you can feel a part of a uh, translator and work as a translator in this way. Oh, that's a common thing. Sometimes you get people who uh, come up to you and say, why can't you translate this? You, you know English, you speak English. So some people believe that if a person speaks English, this person uh, like naturally can work as a translator, but it's not so. So tr being a translator, implies a lot of extra skills and qualification. That's why uh, if you speak good English and good Russian, when we talk about our country and our pair of languages, um, it's uh, just maybe half of what you need to know to become a translator. But if you continue developing and learn necessary skills, uh, then definitely depends on your ambition. You can, anybody can be a translator. It's a matter of time and uh, a set of mind. Well, uh, the first advice uh, I would give would be, of course, learn your active, your working languages. And I don't only mean that you have to master English, but you also have to know your own, your native language very well, because sometimes people who work as interpreters, they find, and in most cases, people who work as interpreters find some troubles with formulation in their native tongue, the ideas they can hear perfectly, but they cannot pick the words uh, at once and choose the proper words and adequate words, so that might be a problem. So you've got to master both languages and be an absolute specialist in them. The second tip would be uh, practice every day. Practice makes perfect and you've got to develop daily. If you have uh, this rule of consistency, definitely you will grow very rapidly as a specialist. And uh, the third tip would be uh, analyze your work, your translations and your interpretations. Uh, leave some time, let them like lie on the table, your translations or record yourself and wait for several maybe hours or days and then listen to your translation or uh, to interpretation or read your translation and see the way it sounds in the target language. Uh, you will see that maybe there is something to be improved to work with. So, in general, um, I should say that uh, if you have this dream to become an interpreter, travel the world, to become a translator and translate a new Harry Potter book, uh, you can always find a good course for yourself, learn to be a translator and uh, never forget your dream and make it come true. You will see in the series how many nice projects we're doing and I hope uh, you will join our friendly team and become our student or our colleague or our partner. Uh, we look forward to meeting you.